Hey guys, thanks for joining us again today at Send It FFH. Today we're doing a review on the Night Force NXS 5.5 to 22 by 56. All right, guys, we're talking about the Night Force NXS. This thing is top tier when it comes to optics. This thing is in a second focal plan and it, it's an absolute showstopper. Uh, you're going to pay for this optic being around scope rings and mounts on cost you around 2500 bucks for this particular optic, but it's well worth the money. It doesn't come with a lot of extra bells and whistles, but uh, it's a fantastic scope. It's a second focal plane, like I said, but a lot of people don't know the difference between first and second focal plane. So the main difference is where the location is of them. So uh, on the first focal plane, it's going to be in the front of your scope. And that's for long distance shooting, for accurate sniper shooting. Uh, that don't mind the holdovers. It's also for long range target shooting. With the second focal plane, it, for me especially, you have the big giant crosshairs that jump out at you for acquiring the targets and being able to see the crosshairs. I have poor eyesight and the second focal plane really jumps out at me and I can see my uh, crosshairs clearly to where the first focal plane I can't really see them on my target that I'm trying to acquire. The one nice thing you, that it has on it, aside from being uh, super clear glass, is an illuminated reticle on the side. So you pull that out for those dim light conditions, whether it's first thing in the morning or it's starting to sunset, you can pull that out and it illuminates the reticle, which is a big deal for me being a deer hunter and all. The piece up here, it's a magnification from 5.5 to 22. You can zoom it out and get a crystal clear picture or bring it back in to 5.5, which is really good. The parallax on it is zero to infinity, so you can just crank that sucker up as much as you want. And on the windage and elevation, it has a zero stop. So that means you pull it up, click it to 100 yards where your zero stop is. And then you, if you see something out to 400 yards, you could range it all the way, turn it to all the way to 400 yards, do the calculations. And then if you've seen something and you try to make a closer shot within 100 yards, you could simply turn it back to your zero stop at 100 yards and it will stop right on it. All the clicks on this, this on the turrets that you feel here, they're, you can hear each one of them, they're quarter MOA turns for each one of them. So it's at 100 yards. And... Uh, this thing, it doesn't have a lot of slop or give in the, in the turn. It's metal and you just simply turn it and you can feel the stiffness in it. It's, it's quite rigid and uh, each not dial that you turn is specifically on that number. So you don't have to second guess, well, am I halfway in between this number or halfway between that number? It's really good. Uh, a lot of times the long distance shooters or old timer shooters, anybody who shoots long range or tactical, whatever they're doing, they say the glass needs to be more expensive or as expensive as the gun. And that's exactly what we did with this setup. The gun itself, this is a Remington 700 300 Win Mag. And uh, it comes out of the box just about 8.5 pounds. This thing kills anything on four legs, whether it's moose, tigers, Bears, elephants, you name it, this gets the job done. It comes with a 26 inch carbon steel barrel with a one in 10 twist at the end with a hellfire muzzle brake on it. Moving down to the trigger, it's a trigger tech trigger and we have it set at one pounds. So as soon as you acquire your target, you just touch it and it's going off. Also, we had to rebed this thing and it's a free floating barrel now. And I have a dollar bill here just to show you how free floating it is. Right, so this thing really does it all. With the muzzle brake, this thing was breaking my shoulder beforehand, and now I can take it. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this gun. It's the most sharp shooting gun I've shot so far. Showed its quarter MOA, and we're gonna show you some video right now. All right, guys, so we're gonna do some shooting on the 300 Win Mag, and this is, bad boy is the 300 Win Mag, and here is a 300 Blackout, and you can see the comparison. And then we have a 45 FNX also. So we just got done shooting three bullets at 200 yards. Let's go take a look at what we did.
Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for joining us at Send to FFH. If you would, please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll put out more content soon. Thanks.